friends, long time no see. It has been about a month since I've filmed anything. It has been honestly a crazy hectic month. <laughs> I got married and then immediately after got COVID and so I've been out of commission for like two weeks. And so it's just been like a really crazy month and I feel like I missed all of like my fun fall videos that I have planned, but I still have a couple weeks I would say where I, I could do fall content. So that is my plan. I'm currently drinking out of my little cauldron mug. Well, look, it looks so cute when there's like steam coming off of it. This is my Hocus Pocus uh, cauldron mug. I got it from Disney last year and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm drinking um, from my little spooky mug and I'm just going to be reading a couple books in this video. Starting a reading vlog, it is a Wednesday night currently. There are two graphic novels I'd like to read in this video and one mystery. So I've kind of got like my cute little Halloween ambiance going and I think tonight I'm just going to read one of the graphic novels I picked up. It's actually like like a middle grades graphic novel. It's called Garlic and the Vampire. It sounds so cute. I think essentially it's like this group of vegetables has to like pick a vegetable to go bite off the vampire or something. I could be completely off base, but this is part of a series. So I picked up this one from my local library and also the second one, which is Garlic and the Witch. They just look so cute. I'll show you a little snippet of those, but we're gonna read those in this vlog. And then I'd also like to try to read the next book in the Veronica Speedwell mystery series, which I've been working on for a little while. I think this is the third book and it's called A Treacherous Curse. So those are the books we're gonna read in this video. We're just gonna kind of have a good time, have like a little fall vibe and read. And as per usual, I will check in with you as I'm reading and let you know what I think. Like how cute is this cover? I can't show the very bottom of it because it has the name of the library where I got it, but <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, ignore my nails. Ooh, my bad. Okay, this is the most perfect fall themed graphic novel. It is, a, it is what I thought. There's like this group of vegetables that I guess like grow vegetables for the town. Uh, uh, people? I don't know. It's very odd. Anyway, there's this like castle on the hill and one day they see smoke coming out of it and so they're like someone's there and the witch that like runs the farm where these vegetables work is like well it might be a vampire and so they're all like well garlic should go check it out because garlic has natural protection against the vampire and <laughs> They're like, he could be harmless or he could be, you know, going to uh, destroy the town. So Garlic is just getting ready to go check out the, the vampire at the castle. <laughs> but the illustrations in this are so cute. I'm going to do a quick flip through. I love the color scheme that the author, uh, Brie Paulson, chose. Everything is perfect for fall. It's like very warm, warm tones, very cozy feeling. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this, but I'll do a little flip through so you can see the, the general animation style. It's really cute. So I don't actually know if this graphic novel is a kid's book or not, but I mean, it would be fine for like middle grades. It's so good. I loved this so much. It's such a cute story about courage and not judging a book by its cover. And it's super autumnal and just absolutely stunning um, design. So all in all, five stars loved it would read again and it's just so cute so i'm really looking forward to reading the next one which is garlic and the witch so like i said this one was garlic and the vampire by brie paulson so i will definitely be reading garlic and the witch shortly hi friends it is thursday night and i'm just getting ready to go get some dinner i think we're gonna get something from panera bread 
And then when we get home, I think I'm going to either start A Treacherous Curse by Deanna Rayborn, or I might read the second graphic novel that I picked up um, from the series that I started yesterday. Yesterday I read with you Garlic and the Vampire. This one is Garlic and the Witch. So that is my fun evening plan. My weekend has officially started because I don't work on Fridays, so I think I'm just gonna take it easy tonight. Like I said, we're gonna go get, get some dinner and uh, yeah, just have like a fun, nice evening. All right, it is much later now. I just finished dinner and got home and I'm ready to start A Treacherous Curse. This is, like I said, I believe this is the third book in the Veronica Speedwell mystery series. And I love this series so much. It's such like a fun, cozy mystery. Like, not that there's not stakes. It's one of those things where it's, I sort of always know that things are gonna like work themselves out so I don't have to stress over it too much. <laughs> but anyway, Josie and I are just chilling on the couch and I'm going to get started reading this. And as per usual, I will check in as I read and let you know what I think. The Sixers opening night game is tonight at 7.30. So I'm only gonna read for probably like a half an hour or so but I will let you know where I leave off and what I'm thinking. Okay, the game is about to start and sorry if you hear obnoxious chewing, Josie is enjoying a little treat. So <laughs> um, anyway, the game is about to start so I'm gonna put my book down for a little bit, but I got two chapters in so I know just the basics of what's gonna happen. But basically our main characters, Veronica and Stoker, have been summoned by Sir Hugo, who's kind of like the head of the royal family's police force essentially. And he kind of keeps tabs on them. They've been summoned by him and they've been told of this missing, I don't know how to pronounce it, diadem, I guess, um, that has gone missing from an Egyptian tomb where this princess had been buried. And Stoker and Veronica are involved because Stoker's like ex-best friend who left him for dead in the Amazon. Um, <laughs> this sounds so crazy, but it, it does make a lot more sense in the context of the book. Um, he, that ex-best friend, has gone missing along with this diadem. So that is the beginning of the story. Obviously, they're going to be going on, like, a little bit of a quest to figure out what's happened. And honestly, like, I love that all of the Speedwell mysteries start kind of the same way. Like, oh, they're so bored, nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden something happens and they're forced into some sort of scenario either where they are potentially in trouble or where they're trying to prove someone else's innocence. It, it's always like very fun and interesting. But again, like we're talking about this like Egyptian princess's diadem that was in this tomb. And so I tend to really enjoy Egyptian lore stories and whatnot. So the mystery with Veronica and Stoker in combination with the like Egyptian storyline, I think is going to be really fun. So I'm really looking forward to it. I will check in again as I continue to read. Right now I'm going to watch the Sixers game. Hi friends, it is Friday, October 27th, and that means it is 1989 Taylor's version release day. I'm very excited. I'm wearing my Taylor Swift merch. This is folklore because I don't have anything from 1989, unfortunately, but I'm going to be jamming out to the new album today. Well, the old new album. <laughs> and listening to the vault tracks and also reading some more. And I have a bunch of Halloween themed baking to do because I am making some cupcakes for my library's bake sale tomorrow. So today's gonna be like a very fun fall slash Halloween themed vlog with also some Taylor Swift thrown in. <laughs> Excuse my appearance, I look gross, but you know what? I am going to be baking, then I have cleaning to do, I'm gonna be reading, so like it's really only gonna get so good. But anyway, if you want to see me make these fun ghost cupcakes that I saw on Instagram and also some Halloween like pretzel rods, the chocolate covered pretzels, 
then um, just follow along and I am still in the middle of reading A Treacherous Curse. I only got a couple more chapters into it last night but I will update you when I get further. So I got these adorable little spiderweb cupcake holders that I'm gonna put the cupcakes in. I was gonna try to do something more fun but I'm just using a box mix because I can't be bothered. So I'm gonna make the ghost cupcakes and then I also got these little like googly eye things that I thought would be cute either for the ghost eyes or to put on the pretzels and make like creepy pretzels. I, I, I don't know. And then I just have the, the melting chocolate for the pretzel rods. So that is what I'm going to get up to now. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna listen to the Taylor Swift album while I do this. Okay, so the Instagram video that I'm following, they basically just put like a little piece of tin foil in the side so that the cupcake would be shaped sort of like a ghost. And then when you ice it, it looks hopefully like a ghost. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna cut up the, the little foil pieces so they're all roughly the same size and just like put them in the side and try to create a little bit of a ghost-like shape. Okay, so this is the very end of the batter. <laughs> I did what it looked like they did in the video. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but theoretically putting this little piece here is going to kind of keep this shape slightly so that when you ice them, they look like ghosts. We shall see. Okay, I'm waiting for the cupcakes to cook. And so I've been reading a little bit more of A Treacherous Curse. And at this point, <laughs> we've determined that Stoker's, you know, friend or ex-best friend is involved, obviously but so is his ex-wife who is now married to his ex-best friend. So basically they've decided in order to clear Stoker's name from any sort of suspect list, I guess, of this man's disappearance, they're going to try to find him. So the first thing they're doing is going to talk to the leaders of the expedition, the family that has funded and has been in Egypt excavating. So my favorite thing about these books is that they all follow a similar pattern and pr maybe that's something you wouldn't like if you don't enjoy that but for a cozy mystery i kind of like it when books follow a similar pattern especially with a series like this and i'm really enjoying it okay they turned out super cute <laughs> i have organized them by ones that i think have promise and then ones that i think might be beyond saving <laughs> So we've got 10 good ones. So I feel pretty good about that for the bake sale. I feel like that that's pretty respectable. We'll have to see once I ice them if they actually even look at all like ghosts. These ones, again, I don't think we have much hope. These ones, they, they could work. So I can't ice my cupcakes until they like fully cool. So I'm gonna give them a couple of hours before I do that. So I did my like chocolate covered pretzels and I t turned them into like little monsters sort of. I don't know, I was going for like a Monsters Inc vibe. I think they're really cute. So I just did like an orange base and then like a black streak and then I gave them all an eyeball. So I don't know, I don't know if they're cute, but they'll taste good. <laughs> I am roughly halfway through A Treacherous Curse now and we are going around talking to like all the suspects in the murder or technically we don't know if it's a murder yet in the disappearance 
of Stoker's like ex-best friend and I don't know it's just so fun to kind of see London high society and like all the like high society figures that they're going to interview and they're just trying to get information at this point so they're talking to everybody they can. Let's just say they did end up talking to Stoker's ex-wife and that was something else can't give away too much but she seems to think her husband did not deserve her so we're still just like compiling information at this point it's it's a lot of fun because it, it's very much like a traditional classic detective story a lot like how i would say like sherlock holmes feels um except it's veronica speedwell and stoker so Anyway, I am now going to attempt to ice the cupcakes. <laughs> okay, I finished icing the cupcakes. They're actually really cute. <laughs> Some of them, aka these ones, look a little bit more like blobs than ghosts, but you know what? It's fine. They're gonna taste good. They're very cute. I'm happy with them. I'm sure I could do better, but, <laughs> but I think they're still pretty cute anyway. So these are for the bake sale tomorrow. It is much later on Friday. I just spent like the last two hours finishing up a treacherous curse i love this book series so much if you if you like kind of like a cozy mystery type of mystery i think you'd really enjoy the veronica speedwell series it's very much like your classic inspector style interviewing all the suspects type of of story but it's obviously historical as it takes place in london in like the 1800s my favorite thing even outside of just the mystery of the series is the relationship between the two main characters, Veronica and Stoker. This is like, they are the most slow burn romance to ever exist. There is no romance. They're just like, they should be together. They just aren't. And maybe they will be in the future. Like they have to be because I know that the series is like nine books long or something. And this is only the third book. So there's gotta be more. But I, I did love this story and... One of my favorite things about Deanna Rayborn's writing is her character development for all of the individual characters in any story is always like super awesome. Really detailed, really descriptive. You can really picture everyone in terms of their quirks and, and the character development in general is just really good. So if you're looking for a fun like fall cozy mystery series, I definitely recommend the Veronica Speedwell mystery series especially if you like historical fiction too. So anyway, my Josie and I are just chilling and uh, I think that's pretty much it for this reading vlog. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you all very soon.